The experience from the airport to the teacher's hotel was actually very interesting. I was lucky enough to travel with somebody from my home country, South Africa. So the two of us got booked onto the same flight, flights. So we needed two flights to actually make it to China. <laughs> my recruiter particularly was very, very helpful. And she sent me lots of tips prior to my coming here and lots of information. She sent a picture of what the taxis that we should use look like. So we had an idea of what we should get into <laughs> and what we should avoid. So once we got that and we took the taxi to the hotel, so that was very affordable. That was way cheaper than had we taken what the other locals were offering. As far as apartment hunting is concerned, I was linked with a very efficient <laughs> agent. I actually like her a lot and I've recommended her to other people as well like in the Shenzhen group when somebody just asked like for an agent I think it was for a new international teacher that just landed and I immediately thought of my agent and how much she helped me just even getting around China I was able to still text her if I was getting lost <laughs> one day I got lost and I texted my agent because my fellow teachers were busy and they happened to be in classes she helped me out and she helped me find my way I was actually lost on my first day to school but my agent actually helped me make my way there so she was really really helpful I gave her exactly what I was looking for and she managed to find me the best place I'm really really pleased about my apartment I found an apartment that is walking distance to my school so I don't have to use the metro every day because I was trying to think ahead other days where I'll be super tired and all I want to do is get <laughs> home and rest so I'm able to do that I have the perfect view I have a beautiful balcony um, I'm just really happy in general it's just the right amount of space I need and when it comes to packing I realize I should have packed lighter <laughs> very very light because when you get to China you can do a lot of shopping and things are really affordable here prior to coming to Shenzhen I kept hearing of how expensive of a city it, it is that well like similar to Beijing and Shanghai I think Shenzhen was listed as one of the cities that are a little bit on the pricey side but I have <laughs> found that I've been able to shop and shop and if no one stops me I'll, I'll be happy to continue shopping you can get anything that you need linen just apartment stuff cleaning um, detergents and things like that from any IKEA Walmart that is super close by there's supermarkets along the way just you can bump into one like anywhere I brought way too many clothes and you can get literally anything that you need from anywhere there are malls everywhere and so far I'm pretty sure one of my favorite <laughs> around Shenzhen Nanshan actually is Raffle City so that's where I've been doing quite a bit of shopping 